It still says it's in progress. We're still parking. <laughs> Don't you worry. You, you're going to order me a beer. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome. My name is Richard and welcome to our second video about self-parking cars. If you want to see a Tesla or a couple of Teslas versus a BMW i4, an Audi e-tron GT and a Ford Mustang, check out video number one. And in that video I did say if I get the opportunity with other cars, we'll test some more. So here we are today. We've got a Hyundai Ionic 5. I've got a BMW i3 and then we've got a Tesla again. And I bring the Tesla again because again, it's a benchmark. Tesla's always evolved with different versions of software. So will it do any better than it did last time? Because last time it didn't do that well. Also, it's quite interesting the development with Tesla because they're evolving into using Tesla Vision. So not just a parking sensors, but a vision system around the car. This is a 2021 car with the sensors. So we think this might actually be starting to use Tesla Vision already. We can try and test that out and give our verdict later on on that. The new cars being made now actually don't even have parking sensors in the bumpers anymore. They're gonna rely purely on Tesla Vision. So we'll test one of them as soon as we can get our hands on one, of course, but this will be a benchmark. So 2021 with full self-driving and the latest version of the software. 2017 BMW i3 Rex versus a Hyundai Ionic 5 Project 45 from 2021. Let's see how they compare. Okay, so as the cars were parked as they were uh, from when we pulled up, I'm gonna start with the BMW and let's do perpendicular parking first. So I'm gonna drive along and the BMW is quite simple. Just push a little parking button down here and it will be scanning for gaps. There we go, so that should be scanning now. I'm driving along, there's our Hyundai and there's our Tesla. Fairly spacious gaps and I don't have anything. <laughs> Okay, so we're doing the search it and it looks like it's parallel parking only. <laughs> no parking assist, only does parallel parking. So there's the answer. That's why it won't work in perpendicular parking because the i3 only does parallel parking. So let's try the i3 at parallel parking. So let me just engage the park button there. There we've got the tick on the steering, so that means it's going to scan for gaps. So let's go past on this side now, the Hyundai there. And then we've got the Tesla here with a pretty good sized gap there. Ah, straight away to begin vehicle maneuver, stop the vehicle, turn on the indicator, and then take your hands off the wheel and press the parking button. Let's do it. I do nothing. I'm going to make sure my mirror is down so I can see that wheel there, just to be sure there is a curb there. We park the other cars a little distance from the curb, just to give a bit of space. We don't want to risk any alloys. Again, the cars can't really see curbs or white lines. They're looking, they're just going to park the car between two objects, two boxes of similar size that it presumes are cars. There we go. It's doing a nice speed. It kind of went in and then it just went nice and gently at the end there. Just tucking the front end. Doesn't feel like it needs to do too much like that. Great steering lock on the i3, of course, so it can get into some really small gaps. There we go. I'm not sure that's quite straight. And it's complete, so it's happy with that. I'm just going to have a little look out the window here. So I'm closer on the front than on the back. So it's not especially straight, but it did it quite competently. I think it just didn't need to do the last move. It didn't need, need it. It was sort of in. That was it. I'm going to do it one more time, get a consistency. So kind of like a dead man's trigger. If I let go of that, it will stop. So it's doing it at quite a good speed and it slows down just as I'd want it to slow down, to be fair. We're going tighter to the curb here than the other cars are parked to the curb. But it's okay. We've got favor. Ooh, don't go any closer than that. No, no. Just about okay. Ooh, God damn. I'm going to stop that. I think it would have been okay. But we're close, aren't we? It's fine. How's it done? So it did okay, but it did go very close to the curb. It's closer to the curb than either of the other two cars. So I don't know why it's brought itself in so far. It doesn't need to. So the, this car's a lot narrower than those cars. So if anything, I'd expect it to be further away from the curb, which would be fair enough. It would just be in line with the outside of the other two cars. So eh, it's a pass of the i3, it works, but not quite as convincing as the i4 was. The i4 did a very good job each time. But this is an older car, so you, obviously you wouldn't expect it to be quite as good as that. 
Let's try the parallel park on the Hyundai. And if you've got a Kia EV6, I'd expect to do the same thing because most of the stuff's the same underneath the different look on the outside. On the Hyundai, you just hold the park button here for uh, about a second, second and a half, two seconds, and then it scans the spaces. So nice and simple, you just do that. And drive past this gap, it's quite small at the moment. Uh, we've got the i3, then we've got the Tesla, searching for parking space, and it's detected the parking space. So I just push this button here. Oh, I've got the choice of remote parking where you can get out of the car. We'll do that in a minute. Let's do smart parking from in the car. Push and hold the parking, and that's it. There we go. Mind these wheels on that curb. Yeah, ooh, thank you. That was the car, not me. That was the car, not me. It did it just in time. Forward a bit, good. It's not the biggest gap in the world, so doing well so far, quite happy with this. Again, diamond cut alloys on this, so. <laughs> That would be refurbing. Uh, I was covering the pedal. I trusted it. I was covering the pedal. Completed. They all do the same thing. The last bit. I don't know why they do it. Don't need the last oh, bit. Yeah, tuck in. yeah, it's tucked far, too far in at the front. It's fine, and then just decided to tuck in. It's a bit close to the curb for my liking. Again, there's a gap on the other cars to the curb, so yeah. these don't need to go that tight. No, you will touch the, touch yeah. the curb. Yeah, yeah. One more try from the other direction. And in we go. It's quite nice clear cameras on the Honda. I do have 360 cameras as well. I'm just watching the mirrors there. I should have dropped the mirror on. Drop the mirror down a little bit. One good thing I like with most cars, it's just you can't do the same in the Tesla, is that I can adjust the mirrors now. Also the Tesla can't do it because it's through the screen. But this is good. I think that's it, just needs to stop. It's tucking itself in at the front, doesn't need to do that. Doesn't need to do that. Yeah, it just came in a bit much and just doesn't need to. That gap there is only that, whereas this gap here is that. But actually does quite a good competent job. I've got another trick up my sleeve I'm going to show you. You're going to drift in? Yep. <laughs> right, searching for spaces. Yes, should fit in there, shouldn't it? Oh, there we go, stop. Very good. Just press that. Control parking from outside the vehicle. Shift to P. Keep the key and close all the doors. Press and hold the parking button on the smart key. Okay, let's try this. So yeah, I just want to park this, but... You're just shoving off now. Well, I can't get out because the hedge is too close to the curb. Hey? Hey? I should, I should look at how close it is. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go this side. You tell me to stop. It's very far from the curb now. We were running around the car, did we throw it off? Hey, that's not so bad. Don't tuck it in, no, we will tuck it in. It's about like Mark Park like this. Yeah. I think that's it. Hey, will it? works, isn't it? The remote function, it works. Actually does it at quite a nice speed as well, doesn't it? So I've just jumped in the Tesla and yes, I've just checked. So we're on the latest software. Your software is up to date as of the 18th of October, which is what it is now, as of an hour ago. Version 11, 2022.36.2. And then if I go to release notes, we do see down here, 
not much uh, signal here. There we go. Look, we do see here Tesla Vision update. Your vehicle is now running Tesla Vision. It will rely on camera vision coupled with neural net processing to deliver certain autopilot and active safety features. So yeah, it probably uses that in conjunction with the parking. And we suspected that early just because of when we were practicing just how it did uh, parking maneuver and actually it did quite well in that test earlier, not here at our warehouse. So will it be better than our previous video? There's only one way to find out. Let's drive. There's our parking space on the left. Same space as the Honda just parked in. So I'm just gonna drive past it now. There we go. Is it gonna prompt me for a gap? No, didn't find it. <laughs> oh, hang on, no, no, it was there, it was there. It was there. It didn't say, oh, there's a gap there, but as soon as I went to reverse, I was looking at Gint saying this thing doesn't work. Ah, oh, hang on, ready? Start. Press release brake to start auto park. Okay, well, that's it then. So actually when I went in reverse, it kind of thought, ah, there's a, there was a gap there, by the way. Didn't say there is a gap. Whoa, what are we doing? What are we stopping for? It's because Gint's walked behind the car. See, this is why we think it's using this uh, Tesla Vision more, because it's very sensitive to the way, if there's anyone around it, This looks a bit more promising than last time, although it's now paused. Park for, pause for pedestrian. Now, there's nobody between us. Yeah, against was sort of halfway down the side of the car behind me. So it's trouble. If you're going to use this on uh, a high street <laughs> and there's anyone on the pavement, it isn't going to work very well. Uh, now, I can't adjust the mirrors to look uh, like I could in the other cars. Um, what are we doing here? This is kind of what we found before, wasn't it? It's trying to decide what it wants to do, but it's not having much luck. Resume, yeah. I don't know what it's doing. Okay. <laughs> Let's give it another go. Let's give it another go. Okay, let's go forwards then. Oh, there's a nice gap. That oh yeah, should just about fit in there. So yeah, let's drive past that one. I'll go give it plenty of time. Yeah, I'll go past it quite a long way into reverse. Auto park ready. Start. And it's showing me there now that's going to go for that gap. It's doing the same thing. It goes that way first. Now we're swinging in. It's what it did in the first video. Now, it doesn't matter this isn't a 2022 car because this is the latest software. Oh, it looks quite close to that curb. <laughs> I'm, looking, I'm looking again, I can't adjust the mirror, can I? I should have done that before. I didn't learn from the first time. I'm careful not to lift it out of the seat too much because I know there's nobody in the seat. It should be weird. Okay, come on, you can do this. All Tesla fanboys have come on, Tesla. You embarrassed yourself last time, but now... Uh, It's doing something. It started off so well, I thought it was going to do well. It says pause for pedestrian, but there isn't anyone around me. They're behind the other car. It still says pause for pedestrian. You're nowhere near me. Resume. Yeah, oh yeah, it's still going. But it says pause for pedestrian, but I can see you on the other side of that car. It says pedestrians again? Yep. So you saw us there? The other side of that car. I could just about see you down the length of it. It still says it's in progress. We're still parking. Still parking. <laughs> Don't you worry. You, you're you going to order me a beer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to give this one more go. So, driving forwards. Hmm, nice gap. I reckon it'll fill it in there, wouldn't it? It's indicating. There we go, heading in, not doing anything. Come on. Nice gap from the curve. It's getting close to the curb now, but that was, that was about right. That was good. That's promising so far. It starts off so well. There we go. That's better. So now I've done it a couple of times, is it building up the vision and the sort of 3D modeling better? Ooh, that's better, that's it, stop there, that's all you need to do. It heard me, that was good. Tesla can park at last. <laughs>
you know, maybe because I did it a couple of times before, it's built up the 3D image better. Yep. If it's, that's what it's doing, if it's doing its modeling, which is what we think they do, don't, don't we, you know? So that's how it works. Okay, so I'm gonna drive around the car park and then come back to it and see if it still works. Because that was pretty good, I think. Okay, let's uh, just drive in the car park a bit. Maybe it forgets it's modeling, whatever it's done there. I'm gonna come at this from the other side now. So I'm coming at a bit of an angle, and then I've got, uh, there's the BMW, there's the Gap, there's the Hyundai. All right, so I'll just go forward a little bit. You see, I've just passed the Honda there. It's got the parking space, so just push start. Uh, simple as that, everything off. Go on, Tesla, you can do this. Go on then, let's see it happen. Looking good so far, I'm happy with that. Cameras from the side as well there, which is good. Just coming up to the i3 now. Yep, perfect. Yeah, it's about what I would be doing so far. It's not the biggest gap in the world. It's definitely better than last time we tried this. Check out the other video. There'll be a link in the description below, or just look at our videos. Tucking a little bit much at the front there, I think. But that was all quite convincing to me, and certainly better than last time. Remember last time, AP1 worked pretty well, but the AP2 didn't. I'm going to have a quick look out the window here. Yep, yeah, that's it. Tesla parking's working. There's a gap to the curb, but the other vehicles have the gap to the curb as well. What if I come at this from a bit of an angle, so it's not an obvious space? Let's try that. Your side yeah, let's try this. So I'm going to come at this from a bit of an awkward angle. I'm going to drive towards Gintz and Mark there. Let's see, see how much you can actually kind of figure out on this scanning. But maybe it's just built up a model around us now. But there's the, there's the gap. It's a bit of an awkward angle there I've come at that from. Other cars wouldn't like that because they want to drive past the gap first. If you know what I mean. Yeah, see, press start and it's straight for that, yeah. So because it can model it, it can do it. I don't even, I'm confident of this, I don't need to look. What do you reckon? It's quite good, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but even coming at the angle there, another car wouldn't have detected that. When you come at an angle, I think it can start modelling it, if you know what I mean. But when you parked... Does this seat anything in the sensors? <laughs> Are you doing the sensors? It's Tesla vision. It doesn't yeah, so Gintz is actually putting his hand now by the... He's come to the car from the side, and he's actually putting his hand in front of the sensors, but the sensors did not beep and did not do anything. So it's definitely doing the Tesla vision. Yeah, the sensors are disabled. And that's why it can also work coming in from an angle and stuff like that, which is quite good. And when, but when you did it at work earlier, you hadn't parked in that gap before and it did it straight away really well, didn't it? So the first two times are just because you were stood at the back of the car really and it was just like, yeah. Well, I think we'll have to call it quits, so that's a past. That's a big improvement for Tesla. That's a big improvement, big improvement. Well, there we go, we've learned some stuff today. You heard it here first, or probably somebody in America have done this first, so I don't know. Anyway, maybe first in the UK. Right, let's try that Tesla Vision with perpendicular parking then. So let's perpendicular park them now. We've made a fairly small gap, about the same as we get in any car park here in the UK. Uh, again, there's no sort of prompt to prompt me for it, but let's hit reverse. And that's not offered that to me. Let me try again, perpendicular parking in Model 3. Oh, there's a gap. Not a very big gap, but there's a gap. See, that's not offering it to me. Failure. Let's try it from the other direction. Nope, no gap. No gap. So I think it's possibly a fail on perpendicular because I can't really do any more to make this happen now. I'm going close to the cars. I'm going slow, I'm going faster, I'm being further away. It just isn't, it isn't kind of recognizing that as a gap. Nah. Right, okay, mixed bag then for the Tesla. 
I, I can't really do much else to make it work. It just won't do it. It's a fail. So now we've got exactly the same gap as the Tesla. Couldn't park in, didn't, just didn't find it, didn't know prompts to park. Uh, I've got to just say, look for parking spaces. So I'm doing that now. There's our gap. There we go, it says parking space detected. So I'm going to do that. Hey, should we just get out of it? Let's do that again. Shift to P, leave the car. I'm confident. It found the gap straight away, not a problem there. Hopefully it's doing okay. It's not getting upset by pedestrians. Doesn't need a gap this big. The Tesla could not sort of recognize this as a parking space. Hyundai's, uh, Hyundai's wider as well. It shot off at the back there, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the Hyundai, no problem. So which one's actually the winner here? The Tesla was impressive that Tesla Vision's kind of working, but I only worked for Powerlay, and even then it was a little bit flaky to begin with. The Hyundai's done it every time. And then the i3, I feel a bit sorry for the i3, because it's kind of a bit out of its league, isn't it, really? Anyway, so... Uh, we'll call that a win for the Hyundai. Hey everyone, thanks for watching our videos. If you like our content and want to see more, don't forget to not only subscribe, but also hit the bell icon for notifications so you don't miss any new videos as they're uploaded. Plus, we're also on Instagram. Just look up R Simons or RSEV. Us, we're on Facebook and Twitter. So lots of news, stories and things as we go on each one of those channels. Let's have a summon race. Go! And they're off. They both start at the same time. The Tesla's hesitating. The Honda's in the lead. The Honda is winning. The Tesla's catching up, is it? No, the Tesla stopped. And the Honda is taking the lead here. We've got a one meter lead. I better keep clear the Tesla. It's getting nervous if I'm near it. The Honda doesn't care. And that's all they want to do. 